<laughs> is there any, are they still going to, are they still, you know, sending their money to offshore yeah, the, the rich the, people? The is offshore anything are still has still operating, changed? yeah, nothing has changed. And regarding Kurchenko, we were talking about, he has a network of gas stations in Germany. Uh, and uh, German authorities, they, 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 they can't actually connect it to Kurs and Canal because the ownership structure is hidden in offshores. Why well, you can't connect and the German authorities can't? Uh, actually, you were <laughs> because trying... Because they need to evidence. It's yeah, they, they, they need strong evidence. Yeah, that like that this company belongs to Krushenka himself. And and they, they actually, they can't get this evidence. Well, I think this so. is one of the really interesting elements of it, and that's something Oliver Bullough, who'd been interviewed for the program, has spoke about, is the internationalization of corruption. That it's not just that corruption happens in Ukraine, and it's just a Ukrainian problem, but money is sent abroad, it goes elsewhere, there are places that take this money, like Cyprus, that aren't concerned about where comes from. And so at the end of the day, though Ukrainian laws and procedures are, of course, significant, it doesn't stop at Ukraine, just as the money doesn't stop. 